Narol here, welcome to the lifeboat. The tide's in, she's riding high, and I have spotted a gap in the market for a Christmas message on Christmas Day, about three o'clock. If you build it, they will come. JJ, you got some explaining to do. Well, the thing is, I don't follow any religion, so I've had to borrow things from here, there, and everywhere, and to bring a message of hope and joy and love into our lives. And on the 25th, the sun starts coming back towards us, from its southerly most point in the south, if you live in the north, it's coming to its apex on the summer solstice each day, bringing more light, more love with every passing hour. So, I've got with me a piece of obsidian to represent the root chakra and the grounding and the darkness of the winter. And I've also got with me a lovely piece of rose quartz to represent the heart chakra and the love and joy that we can share out with our brethren. So it's time for forgiveness. And as we pass these winter's nights and these long dark days, it's a great time to go inside and reflect on what we've achieved in the last year. Now, we are slowly coming out of a 500 year Machiavellian ideology and this sort of like tyranny has already come to an end and some of you are feeling this and struggling to know how to adapt in this new world of understanding, peace and love. And it doesn't happen overnight, but if you attune yourself to it, you will see it slowly arriving. And looking into the obsidian with the help of this monocle, which uh, I need because I'm getting old, my eyes are going. I'll pinch this one off the Monopoly Man, but don't tell him. I can definitely see in the reflection there is tolerance, understanding and humility. So I think it's important whilst accepting there are going to be differences within our shared reality, we imagine in our minds the yin and yang symbol rotating as we come out of the darkness into the light, whilst appreciating there is always a spot of dark within the light and a spot of light within the dark. This needs to be there for balance through time and memorial. Without that, we can't lose either all of them because we wouldn't be able to have the experience within the third dimensional plane. And maybe as we go into the light, the lion might be able to lay down with the lamb. And if we click our heels together three times, maybe we can dream ourselves a better world and lay down an olive branch to our, our friends and family who we may have been in disagreements with in the past can never be a bad thing. I mean, I believe it was once said, can't we all just get along and judge not lest he be judged, I think is the, the term we should be appreciative here too. But wherever two or more gather, I think understanding can always, and agreements can always be in the midst. And as we look into the mirror mirror on the wall, I think it's time that we forgive our trespasses and maybe forgive those who trespass against us because that is what is important. We mustn't lose these ancient teachings to a lack of space within our memory. It's very important. So this has been wonderful to communicate with you. My first ever Christmas message to you all. So welcome to the lifeboat and a very Merry Christmas one and all.